Oh, Boogie right. Man Ben coming round the band is Boogie Man Ben. Is Boogie Man Ben. Hey, my fellow Fright Beans, it's your buddy Boogie Man Ben. Hope everyone's doing well. Thank you for dropping by the channel. Um, today's video is going to be showcasing a brand new package that I got. Um, it's not really something I needed, but um, as everyone knows, and um, you know, if you follow me on Instagram or here on the channel, you know that Salem's Lot, the 1979 miniseries movie, whatever you want to call it, is my favorite movie of all time. Um, and uh, putting together my um, tribute video, on location video, has been very taxing. Um, it is going to be dropping this coming Sunday, July the 10th, which will mark the 43rd anniversary of when production started in Ferndale, California, where many of the exteriors for the film was shot. Um, I spent uh, several days in Ferndale this year, um, six to be exact, because I was there in April for my birthday. So I was there the 15th, 16th, and 17th. My birthday was April 14th. And then I was also there in June um, on the 12th, 13th, and 14th. So yeah, I shot over three hours of footage um, going across those, uh, those six days. And uh, this is gonna be an all-encompassing on-location video that I will be dropping. Um, I'm also going to have commentary for certain shots. Um, I'm also going to be talking about my history of the film, uh, when I discovered it, what it was like watching it for the first time, and then also just, you know, what it has become and how I discovered that, you know, Ferndale's where a lot of the film was shot. There were a couple of other towns where the film was shot, Eureka and Fortuna to be exact, and they are also covered in this upcoming uh, video that I'm putting together. So yeah, it's been a labor of love for to say the least. I spent most of my 4th of July weekend uh, editing it. Um, it took several days to get it to the format that it's in. It's down to 52 minutes, but I'm still going to be adding stuff to it. But uh, I think people will enjoy it, and I'm really looking forward to sharing it with everyone. Um, for today's video, I, like I said, I got a package in the mail. Here it is. This is something that I was eyeing for a while. I talked to the seller about it. It was on eBay. Um, bought it when I was actually down in uh, San Luis Obispo in Santa Maria for a, a job that I was doing for my company. Um, but uh, I have pretty much every media release um, of Salem's Lot. Um, just to show you a few, I got a couple things I want to show first. So, of course, I have it on Blu-ray. This one's still shrink-wrapped because I gave my, my other copy to my mother-in-law who didn't have it. So I bought it again. Um, I do have a steel book. I also have a signed steel book that I'll showcase right here that Ron Scribner signed uh, back in 2019 when I met him at the 40th anniversary event. Here's another copy of it on DVD. This is the original, one of my first DVDs that I ever bought. I also have it on VHS and Beta. So I have Beta and VHS, thanks to Sales from the Dead. He's on Instagram. I got both of these from them. My friend Matt Seiler made, made me aware of him, so thanks to both of those amazing guys. So I have those. And then I have my original miniseries release. This came out, I believe, in 1993. Um, and I remember buying this at Suncoast Video. It has the two tapes. This is the full miniseries. This was the first time it was ever released as the full miniseries. Prior to that, the two releases I just showcased, the beta and the VHS, that was the condensed version of the film. It was just Salem's Lot, the movie. This was the full-length miniseries. This is the first time it ever came out. So 1993 was when that was first released. And then in... 2019 I bought this. This was also released the same time this was released, but I was such a fan of the full miniseries. I didn't buy this when it came out. Um, I think this is, yeah, this is, a, this is like, I, this didn't say Warner Brothers hits when this one came, when they came out initially. So this is probably a re-release. Um, but, uh, yeah, this one is the movie. So this is the condensed version. So this one runs 184 minutes. This one runs 111 minutes. So you can see that they did condense it significantly. So what I got is this is the laser disc. Now I've never owned a laser disc player, so I'm actually going to frame this, but this is an unopened brand new factory sealed, um, laser disc release of the film that I got off of eBay and I'm very excited to open it up and check it out. Packaged it really good. 
like really well packaged. You can just see it really, really well done. bit of time but thank you so much to the seller for packaging this so well here it is okay. <sighs> Ooh. Oh. that is a thing of beauty right there check that out oh so amazing wow Wow, this is absolutely stunning. I will showcase it up close. So glad to have it. And I actually bought a frame, so I'm going to be framing it. I'm trying to figure out where to frame it. I might be putting it over here. Um, or ne I'm, I'm trying to figure out where to put it here in the office or in the, the lounge here. But it is going to be framed on the wall. I will showcase it at the end of this video. So happy to have this. Very, very grateful for the seller. This is, this is fantastic. Really well you know, this is, this is immaculate. Looks like I just bought it at a store. And, um, yeah, uh, this cost me a pretty penny. It's actually why I'm not buying a lot of the cool stuff that Cavity Colors and Scream Factory are putting out right now, but this is more important to me than anything. Anything Salem's Lot related is where's, where my head's at right now. Uh, one final thing I do want to showcase. Um, this is something that I haven't talked about. So when I went to Ferndale, of course, I went up to the location where Marston House was. Of course, if people know, it was a facade built over an existing structure. Um, and I have a picture of the, it's kind of hard to see, but this was from the Ferndale Enterprise, the newspaper there. They had this in their, their newspaper, this image with the house. You can see the original structure there. And then, of course, the facade. This is what the original house looks like now. It's at 850 uh, Bluff Street. And this is actually dirt and rocks and stuff I picked up from the path there. So this is something that uh, I've always wanted to do. And to find out exactly how close I got to the house, you're going to have to watch uh, the video when it drops this coming uh, Sunday, July the 10th. I hope everyone looks forward to that. Again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video showcasing this. I am getting back to everybody's comments this week when I have uh, some time. Um, I'm doing it sporadically, but thank you so much, everyone, for writing. Thank you so much for the support. My review of the Black Phone will be premiering after I do uh, the Salem's Lot video because that's just where I want to keep my head right now. I know I posted that I saw it last Thursday and I was going to be dropping my video, but the editing on the Salem's Lot uh, video is just taking up so much of my time. I haven't had time to dedicate to the Black Phone, but it is coming. I know it's a little late in the game, but I'm still happy to share my thoughts about that film that I've looked forward to so much this year. So thanks everyone for dropping by. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, please leave some comments down below about what you think about this, uh, the media releases I have and this new, uh, laser disc that I got. Also, remember to support the sponsor of this video. It's Kevin over at House of Mysterious Secrets. Um, that's houseofmysterioussecrets.com. I've been buying, uh, horror collectibles from Kevin since 2010. Uh, awesome collection of horror, uh, items like shirts, hats, uh, toys, uh, posters, soundtracks. Um, if you check out the site, uh, use code 9350 for a one-time 10% off. Tell them the boogeyman sent you. And again, I will talk to you guys again soon. So take it easy, stay scared as always, and remember, you can do nothing against the master.
Hey fellow Fright Fiends, just want to say thank you again for supporting Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. If you're brand new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you're updated every time I drop a new video. I typically do this once or twice a week with new content. Uh, I've been doing this for over 11 years and the horror genre is a passion of mine. And it really means a lot to me that I can share that passion with all of you guys. Thanks so much again for the support and I'll talk to you again later. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Peace.